Hi guys! A lot of people have actually requested uh, for me to film a vlog on postpartum care, uh, talking about how we can take care of our skin, our hair, uh, how to keep in good shape, and also our diet. So I thought, why not? So um, today I'm going to do a very concise vlog on just a few topics of postpartum care. So first of all, after birth, I think something that's really important is our diet. We really need to take care of what we would eat, especially if you're breastfeeding, because whatever you eat, the baby will eat. Because I had a C-section, I was really careful with what I ate and I wanted the scar and the wound to heal very nicely. So it was a very clean menu for the whole month. I really enjoyed the menu that my confinement nanny made for me every day. I could go on about the menu and I could actually show you some of the dishes, but I'll do that another time in my vlogs. Also, you can't really diet when you breastfeed because you need to produce good quality milk for your baby. So a lot of the times I was drinking a lot of soup maybe three or four bowls of soup every single day, massive bowls of soup, and I was drinking a lot of fluids as well. Um, I think a clean diet helps a lot because you actually feel a lot more energetic despite the really long hours, so there was no greasy or dirty food involved. So apart from our daily food menu, I would also recommend everyone to take some sort of vitamin. And um, while I was pregnant and during breastfeeding, I was taking the Nestle Mom, this is what it looks like. Basically, this was recommended to me before I started working with them by my obstetrician. Um, he said that it reduces the chance of allergies for you and the baby. Also, it's got DHA, vitamins and minerals. So one tablet can take care of a lot of stuff. So that with a well-balanced diet is very important because we need to look after ourselves before we can look after the baby. So to all the moms out there who's worried about shedding off the post-pregnancy weight and uh, whether they're eating too much, I wouldn't worry too much about that. So after taking care of our diet, I pay a lot of attention to my complexion and my skin because signs of tiredness and um, stress can be shown on your skin really quickly. So I'm really lucky I get to try a lot of different skincare brands, especially after giving birth to Damon. I really wanna try something that's really suitable for me. And recently I've been working with Clinique on the Fresh Press Clinical Vitamin A and their Vitamin C Serum. So it comes in a pack like this and has two sets. So four bottles, two sets, and they look like this. So this is the Vitamin C and this is the Vitamin A. The Vitamin C you use during the day and the Vitamin A is to be used at night. As you know, Vitamin C and Vitamin A are very active ingredients. So I really have to explain to you how this is used. As you can see, each bottle has a piece of foil which you take off. And then you see a little pump. So your first pump will squeeze the vitamin A ingredients or the vitamin C ingredients into the serum. Then afterwards, when you dispense the serum out, you basically just press the pump and then the serum will kind of drip out. So each set will last you for approximately seven days and those seven days are when the ingredients are most active and effective. I've been using this for seven days and I can see a huge difference on my forehead and also just around this area on my cheeks here, which sometimes can look a bit dry, especially if I'm tired and I can feel like my pores have gotten smaller and my complexion has gotten brighter and these lines have become a little bit less apparent. So it's definitely working for me. Also, you shouldn't use vitamin A if you're pregnant. So if you're pregnant, um, please do not use this, but if you're breastfeeding, you can definitely use this and this is safe. So for moms that have just given birth or if you really wanna try and regain that glow in your skin and reduce the fine lines, I would definitely recommend using this duo. So it works well with your regular skincare routine. After the toner, you can apply the Fresh Press Clinical Serum on, and then you can add your moisturizer and then your eye cream. And yeah, just day and night for seven days and you can already see results. So with all Clinique products, they're all dermatologically proven. So I've been pretty impressed with the results. A few more tips when it comes to using vitamin C and vitamin A. If you're using it, please do not expose your skin to too much sun. You need to use a sunscreen and also you need to keep your skin moisturized and hydrated and I do that by using a lot of different masks. During the time that you're using the Fresh Press Clinical Serum, if your skin does appear to be a little bit dry, I would recommend doing some moisture masks. I use quite affordable masks from pharmacies. 
So I basically slap on a mask whenever I have time, whether I'm feeding Damon, whether I'm washing the bottles or whether I'm just reading my script. I put a mask on at least once a day. These masks are purely for hydrating and they're super affordable. You don't need anything that's too expensive, nothing that's too active, just something to soothe your skin and just replenish that moisture onto your skin. As I mentioned before, if you're using vitamin C, you gotta minimize your skin's exposure to the sunlight. And so applying sunscreen is a must. I gotta recommend you this sunscreen by Seoul. It's a Korean brand. So basically it comes in three tubes because each tube expires after 60 days. So when one tube expires, you can open another tube so it's always fresh. So what I like about this sunscreen is I love the texture. It's a very watery texture. So when you kind of apply it onto your skin, it absorbs really well and it doesn't leave your skin feeling really sticky. Also, it doesn't leave a white layer on your skin. So I really hate it when sometimes you apply sunscreen on and your face looks whiter than other parts of your body. So this doesn't. And also it works really well before makeup as well. So please remember to apply sunscreen when you're using the Fresh Press Clinical Serums. It will work better and the results will look a lot better as well. So after taking care of our skin, another thing that we're all really worried about all the time is whether we can get back into shape. Am I ever going to get back into my pre-pregnancy body shape? Now, there's no easy way around this, ladies. Like, we really have to exercise. You can shed off the weight by not eating, but that's not going to give you a really good silhouette. You might just get skinny, but then you won't be toned. So basically, my exercise routine is these days I'm trying to work out three times a week. Once a week, I have a trainer come in here and we're doing a lot of like kickboxing. We're also doing some weights to tone up like my arms, my butt, my thighs. And um, it's a slightly more strenuous workout with him, but he, he takes it easy on me. And then the other two days, I hit the gym myself and I try to do at least 30 to 40 minutes of cardio. So those sessions are purely for burning calories and burning fat. So you gotta really make the exercise routine become a part of your daily habit. I know it's really hard because you've got a baby to look after and you might have to work, but you must remind yourself 30 minutes a day. So I've also started on a stricter diet now. I'm eating high protein, I steam everything. I steam my vegetables, I boil my vegetables, super duper boring, really low carb. Occasionally, if I do feel like some carbs, sweet potato, pumpkin, they're all really good for you. So basically, I've restricted my menu down to like 10 things. <laughs> it's really super boring. On the weekends, I go a little bit easier on myself and I try to eat something I like but um, most days I'm on a pretty strict diet. I didn't really put on a lot of weight after birth. I put on about three or four kilos. Trying to get the weight down isn't so much the issue for me. So basically my goal is to tone up rather than shed off the weight because if I gain more muscle mass, I'll look more toned and it'll look a lot healthier, I think. Another thing I did, which I thought was really good, was belly binding. I was really surprised with the results. So this is what happened. Three weeks after birth, I tried to put on a pair of my old jeans, thinking maybe they'll fit because I only put on like three kilos, right? But the jeans didn't really fit because as you all know, your pelvic bone kind of expands a lot when you're pregnant and for the nine months it's positioned that way. So it takes a bit of time for it to go back into its position before you were pregnant. And so yeah, my jeans didn't fit. Then I did 15 sessions of belly binding. So one session a day for 15 days continuously. And 15 days later, I put on those jeans and I could zip them up. But when I stepped onto the scale, I didn't really lose any weight. So what it meant was my pelvic bone had moved back into shape. So what happens when my lady comes belly binding is, first of all, she'll give you a really nice massage, which is so great and I enjoyed it so much because it was really relaxing and it was like an hour of me time where I could just pamper myself. And then she will bind your belly. So there's three layers of wrap that she does. And this is the very traditional Indonesian belly binding method. First of all, she'll rub some sort of powder onto your stomach and it's wild ginger with lemongrass and it's meant to kind of reduce your stretch marks and kind of burn fat. Then she'll wrap the first layer which she ties in knots. And this is apparently to position your hip and position how she's gonna bind your belly with the second layer. 
So the second layer, she really wraps it on really tight. So this is the layer that helps to push your hips back into position. So there's one final wrap at the end, which is basically to hold everything into place. And then so for nine hours a day, you have this wrap on and it's really hard to move about. But after 15 days, I was pretty pleased with the results. As you can see from this photo, my postpartum belly isn't protruding as much and you can see the waistline. But if you really want to get back into shape, you really need to exercise so you can increase your muscle mass and tone up. Another thing that we have to be aware of is the very, very scary postpartum hair loss. Now, a lot of people say postpartum hair loss it's normal, you don't need to worry about it because basically you're losing all the hair that you didn't lose when you were pregnant. So apparently when you're pregnant, not a lot of hair falls out. And then when you have your baby, four months later, all your hair starts falling out. I've had friends tell me that they could see themselves losing so much hair that when they wash their hair or brush their hair, they could see like chunks coming out. It's a bit scary. But thank God it didn't happen to me. Just recently, I've started to notice that a little bit of hair's growing back out around my forehead area, but it's not too severe. I have friends that told me that this whole section of hair were coming out like antennas because they'd fallen out after pregnancy. So um, for me, it's, it's not too frizzy, so it's bearable. Another thing that I think really helped with my postpartum hair loss is a special tea that my confinement nanny made. This tea apparently has ingredients to kind of replenish the blood in your body nourish your kidney and also de-stress and relax your body so you sleep better. The first few months when I was breastfeeding, she would add ingredients in there that would help with breastfeeding as well. But then these extra packets she made for me to drink now. So basically you can just drink it like a herbal tea every day. I think drinking this for over three months has really helped. It's really simple. All you need to do is put this tea bag, which she has made, into like a flask and add hot water and then just let it simmer in there for maybe 20 minutes and just drink it. And then you can refill it with water or you can put in another tea bag. I drink about two tea bags a day. So I have the ingredients in Chinese. Hope it helps because I really have no idea what it's called in English. Next thing is because your baby's drained a lot of the nutrients from you when you're pregnant and also when you're breastfeeding, you can really feel that your hair gets a bit brittle and dry after birth. So what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of oil into my hair and I've been using this extra virgin premium cold press coconut oil, which I've shown you guys before. This is just really natural coconut oil, which I bought from Bangkok and it's really affordable. This, this bottle costs maybe about 60 Hong Kong dollars. So what I'll do is I'll apply a little bit of coconut oil onto my hands and then I'll just apply it to the ends of my hair after washing my hair when it's still a little bit damp. Just at the ends, not on the scalp because if you put on the scalp, then your whole scalp will get too oily. And I don't think it's too good for the pores on your, on your scalp. And then I will use a dry towel and I'll just dry it a little bit and then I'll blow dry it. And then you can really feel that the ends of your hair are less brittle, less split ends appear and um, it just gives your hair a lot more shine. I didn't need to do it every single time I wash my hair, maybe once or twice a week is enough. It's definitely not easy being a mum, especially if you have to balance so many things in your life. I've also started to work again as well, so time is really precious. I think Damon is my major priority. I really wanna look after him the best way I can. But at the same time, we also need to take care of ourselves um, to maintain that self-esteem so that we feel good about ourselves and also things that make us look good as well. So the few things I've shared with you today, it's worked really well for me so far and I really hope that it will work well for you as well. We just really need to try and fit those little things into our daily routines. It's not hard at all. It's just a matter of giving it a little bit more effort and a little bit more time. If you have any comments about anything that we've spoken about today, please feel free to comment. Also remember to subscribe or you can leave a comment on my IG. I'd be happy to answer them maybe through a live broadcast or maybe just through your messages. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.